Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out with a bunch of new news and patches coming out on November 28th. But would it be enough to keep the game on float or will Chucky from DVD take over? Let's get into it. Sid and Matt gave out a patch that's going to be coming out on November 28th, which is including 250 bug fixes into the game. One big patch that they said is going to be probably the biggest one that they had right now. But let's start off with the victim news. Now, when it comes to victims, we have been seeing a lot of people that have gone into matches, myself included as a family, that the matches last one or two minutes with the victims already escaping. Well, guess what? Victims will now start off with a 60 second cooldown, meaning more stealth play out there. No more lead-ins just knocking over a leather face or whoever's going to be down in the basement. We'll get to next. Of course, Connie cannot be unlocking doors quickly in the basement as well. So no survivor or victim can be using any of their perks for the first 60 seconds of gameplay. This is to start more of a stealthy gameplay and no more game rushes. Next thing going on that is, of course, you cannot be spamming on bone scraps, on getting tools or anything like that because that noise will trigger and it will follow you. They did not explain how many seconds, but it will follow you um, while you're walking away. So if you do trigger any noise, like myself or noob that we like to spam the bone scraps and go, I don't give a crap, and then just run, well, it will follow you for a second. So kind of like how grandpa does with that yellow aura. So again, more stealth gameplay. Um, also victims, you can't be a troll like me and teabag at the exit gate. Once you pass the exit gate, we all love to teabag those, those um, family members or wait till grandpa throws a scream, make a little dance out there so they can see where we're at. Well, literally once you go past the exit gate, so that little, um, either the gate that you open or the electrical fences, it will automatically trigger the escape. So family house, we all know that you have that long area to run out. That will be gone. I'm kind of wondering how gas station is going to work because I know in gas station, there is a door that you open and you start running out. It's not where the gate is. It's the other one. Um, so I'm wondering if that when you do run out, if it's automatically going to trigger or you have to run at least a little bit um, or they're going to add an area on there that you might have to run through. So we'll see how that happens. They did kind of say you guys could teabag a little bit before. Um, but I guess they were just joking around because um, that'll be kind of toxic. You tee back right before the exit gate and then the electricity turns back on and you can't get out. So, um, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's not going to be, you know, people holding the game hostage and the games are going to go back a little bit quicker. So I do like that little change on there. I would like to know what you all think on these victim changes at the moment. We're going to get into the family ones now. So here we go with the family member news. Um, Johnny is getting a nerf on his perk. Victims who are crouch walking will not leave footprints, so Johnny cannot track them. This is the same thing that happened with Cook, that if you crouch walk, Cook cannot hear you as well. Um, I used to love playing Cook because I can see people when they're crouch walking uh, before the, the nerf happened. So there's another nerf right there. And I think it kind of works good because I've had many times that I'll crouch walk out of the, the basement area and gas station, go into the bushes, and two seconds later, they're like, Johnny has tracked your your footsteps i'm like dude i crouch walk like it, it made no sense it made it very hard to like actually stealth so we are getting some victim stuff and now some um family stuff as well so that's one thing but one thing is good with johnny he might not be able to track your footsteps here crouch walking but he will be shirtless because he's too sexy for his shirt i'm too sexy for my shirt it has been confirmed by wes that a certain as johnny will be coming out to the tcm game so expect that. Not sure the November 28th, but probably in the next one. The other thing happening with the family members is Leatherface requirement has been removed. Barricades will still be around and everything that Leatherface would, you know, be able to break down and stuff like that will st still be in the game, but he will not be in a requirement. So you might have a cook, hitchhiker, and a, and a sissy. You might have a Nancy, who's a new um, uh, family member, which we're going to get into a little bit, um, coming out and two other people. One person, I think they did say, will be starting in the basement automatically, but you're going to have more of this stealth going on that you can now hide and jump over things and kind of escape a little bit more. So it brings a little bit more of an element of like, you know, you could try getting through. Now, of course, with the hitchhiker, he could go through crawl spaces. It's going to be a little difficult with that or some traps that he might set up. So there's still ways around it. Hitchhikers still put traps in areas where if you jump over, you'll fall into a trap. So that's one thing out there. I do feel like the Honor Le Leatherface movement is good. Because I've had many times I've been in a match and I go, yo, we need a leather face. Can you guys put a leather face? Nobody did it and they'll just let the timer go. And it's, it's just somebody who put, doesn't care. Cook also with his ability charge will take down when he actually is being used to avoid spamming it. 
I didn't know that that was a thing. Um, but supposedly Cook's thing was only working when he actually triggers someone and would actually zone zone into it, whether it be a generator or an actual um victim. Um, now it's actually going to be taking down the whole entire time. So for it to recharge again, so you can use it, it's going to be a lot harder. So that's another thing that they changed into the game. And the last part is family members will see a small XP reduction on values with um, when it said all victims have been killed, when all victims were not killed. That's just a small little change. They did want to bring that on, be transparent, because I know a lot of people are going to be playing it and be like, wait, why did I just get 2,000 points and not 3,000? So that's one change that they also gave it with that. Map changes, gas station, fuse locations will not spawn close to the fuse box. I honestly, I've played matches with Noob on gas station and we've actually seen that. Like the fuse is right here and you run right across and the fuse box is right there. And I'm like, yo, like it's right there. Or the fuse box is inside the, the house and then the fuse is literally like on the other side of the house type of thing. So they're changing that so it's not going to be spawning so close to each other. So it's going to be a little bit harder to try getting it, you know, turned on or find the fuse and then find the fuse box. Do like that change as well. Next thing were some chat questions from it. So perk patch will be coming soon and some may be placed with new ones. So they're going to be getting feedback of which perks people have not been using, which ones they have not used, period. Can they buff them a little bit? Will they just replace them with a new thing that's out there? So that's pretty cool. They're going to be doing stuff like that. I think that's needed. In this type of game that you need to start chaining perks around because in dead by daylight you have every single survivor can use each other's perks this one they have everyone has one specific perk and then the other ones were kind of like pretty much everybody use the same one for grandpa I'll use this one so i like the fact that they're going to be changing it up a little bit so it's going to be pretty cool um nancy and danny and a new map is coming out november 28th of course we do know that chucky is also coming out november 28th so that's a little crazy that they're both going to come out we'll see what the numbers show on twitch um to see which one's better on that day and what everyone's playing and then cook skins will be coming soon as well, is what they have stated. I'm not sure which ones they are, but I am super hoping that they bring out the one for Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, I think that'll be very cool for them to come out. I know they're saying they're trying to keep to either leather, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1 and maybe some lore that they make themselves. But we need that cook outfit from the chili cook-off. I think that would have been a great one, but we'll see what happens. They did announce also that they have a lot of um, characters that are going to be coming out to the game. Remember, every character is $9.99 when they do come out, each uh, each one. So the patch will be $20 to get both Nancy and Danny into the game. And then I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys enjoying these patch notes? Do you guys enjoy what they're coming out with? Do you think that they should do different things? Do you, what would you guys want them to do? They did announce that they're going to be doing a lot more of these little segments and stuff like that. As always, guys, like and subscribe on the channel. We have a lot of stuff coming out. A lot of gameplay videos coming out. We still have Alan Wake. The next episode's coming out. We have RoboCop coming out. Um, Liza P when I fight different bosses. And a whole lot more to the channel. I want to thank you guys everything for, for everything you've done. And if you guys are trying to wonder what the new DLC is going to look like, you guys can check out this video where I did post um, the leak of Nancy and Danny um, back in the day with the new map um, and some news about it. So you guys can check out that video there. Uh, but anyway, my name is Mr. Angry Troll, your favorite troll on YouTube. I hope you like this patch notes. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And see you guys on the next stream, next video, next everything. Peace out.